Welcome back, everybody! It's Great. Fire Emblem. Welcome Everyone loves this series. Uh, <laughs> you know what? So, you remember the video that we showed you earlier, uh, but it was uh, part three, but really fast? Yeah. That, but Fire Emblem. That but Fire Emblem games would be I great. I think that exists, but not like it's not that person that made it. But... Oh, it's probably not. Oh, I, here, the you only see one how to make that I've seen. Invincible. Want to see me kill a man? I, I did once see. Um, someone did one. It was like Fire Emblem dates abridged or something. And it was just like a thirty-minute-long, and it was just all the chapters, and it was hilarious because I played Fates, mm -hmm. and I got everything. Dear Lord. And so, I, did, I thought it was all hilarious, because he just used, like, their in-game shirts and just like, Hey, Corn, how you doing? Falls off cliff, dies. <laughs> Alright, that's the chapter. About right, though. Some of the chapters were very, uh, short. Right, we well, are in Both short in of... the sense of time and oh, short fine. in the sense of the other curse word. Specifically, any map. Schlong. Merchant. <laughs> Did one of you take us? But it was in one of you. Well, today, uh, we're going to be singing Shadowloid by Shadowloid. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you do not know how to flush the toilet after taking a shit? Well, it wasn't me. <laughs> well, it was one of you. Disgusting. <laughs> how did I get. Why did they post that gonna, onto the internet? The comments before they got deleted were like, well, why would you upload this after that happening? <laughs> I mean, thank you for doing yeah, so, but actually. why? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's one of the best videos on the internet, though. Like, actually. I wonder what the most viewed video on YouTube is. Uh, Charlie bit my finger. Oh, Charlie bit my finger. Oh, it might be a Vivo now. It used to be that. I don't know. Yeah, freaking music. Yeah. I just hate how the music side of YouTube can just counts as YouTube all the same, rather than being its... Eh. Probably <sighs> people feel the same about gaming, though. I mean, it's like, oh, gaming is like, oh, it's a waste of space. I well, don't think that it well, uh, well, no, because the thing is with... Oh, my God. You could make the argument to that that uh, gaming videos are much less rewatchable than music. Because mm. when you're watching, you're not usually watching the music, you're just listening to it in the background. I mean, video files are video and audio, like the audio is included. Well. Oh, this is a, this is a chapter I have to save state rig. Do I have to fight this guy? He has a tone called bolting, which is this much range. Dear lord! Yeah. Um, That's like... It's right. actually about five less because he doesn't actually move from where he's standing, but it you, yeah, you can't get close. That reminds me of the Awakening oh, map. Oh, whoa! Okay, Canis must have gotten a really good level because now I can actually double people. So, uh, it reminds me of the Awakening map really where hard. you're like Frank. in the, uh, what's that entire country called? Saudi Arabia? No, an Awakening <laughs> Uh, the one- My point stands. <laughs> ah, Spencer attacks me for saying nothing. Wow, look, enemies that Lynn cannot- Where's Tharja from? Tharja is- Tharja. He's from- I, did... I don't remember Awakening. I remember the name. I just remember- I can't remember. She's basically from Saudi Arabia, though. Minus and, uh... the gay people getting thrown off buildings. <laughs> I don't know, they probably do the same. Um, but anyway, that country that like worships me or anything. There's like a map I think where you're inside. Plesia. Like, oh yeah. There's like a map where you're inside like a building of theirs, and there's just mages like all around that you can't reach. You just <laughs> have like smog or something like that. And it's like a really uh far range tome, but it has a low hit rate. But apparently my game just said, yeah, but what if it did have a high hit rate? <laughs> And it just like hit every time. And that was like I reset my game so many times. Oh, I just have Fire Emblem Six flashbacks. There's a chapter where you have to go through like this fortress and they're inside of the fortress walls. You have these guys who have like silver bows and these crazy dark magic tomes. 
with extreme range and bolting and purge, which is the other um, really long range weapon. You can't do anything about them because the path is so windy to actually reach them and you just had to survive for like 20 turns. It was really not fun. Anyway, go ahead. No, I'm basically done. Let's say... I'm... Also, that game had no right, like... The cutscenes in that game had no right looking as good as they did on the 3DS. Yeah, especially, like, if you download, like, the original Source, because they did publish them somewhere. Um, they look really good, like... I, also, I like the art style, not the art style, but the other yeah, cutscene 3D style of Awakening. Every, I swear to God, every time I play any game ever that's got, like, the anime, like, 3D anime kind of art style, I get it, alright? It looks like it's anime, but it's just a really easy art style to use, and it looks good. Mm -hmm. And it just pisses me off how every time I play, like, a Fire Emblem game, or, like, Astral Chain, or Xenoblade, what? it's like, Anime! And I'm like, oh my god, shut the... Because... Whoa! Make him do a dance again. Wee. <laughs> <laughs> Here, wait. Let me, let me put to the fire and flames. Alright, anyway. Alright, cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway. Oh, I... Oh, speaking of the fast-forward button. Um, so the emulator that I have on my phone has that. Uh, it says, like, I have six hours in Pokemon Emerald. I, I did it for like 15 minutes and I just grinded with my Pokemon for forever. Which is, I have uh, the original Ruby game and that's kind of how I beat like every gym up to the point that I'm at. Because I just have a uh, Sceptile and I literally, just because I didn't feel like doing anything else, I grinded in the original starting area. Oh yeah. With my starter Pokemon. Till it was evolved lev in level 20. <laughs> Just because I didn't feel like doing anything else. And it literally carried me through the entire game. I beat the fire type gym with my grass type <laughs> starter. Ooh. That's, uh, yeah, Grease's luck. Is anyway, dumb. I just kind of gave the middle finger to Flanary and said, yeah, screw <laughs> your type matchup. Dude, okay, the first time I ever played through Emerald, which is my first game, I knew I didn't understand the concept of having more than one Pokemon, so... No. Swampert was my guy. He, he carried me, I so... mean, Swampert's got pretty good stats, as all things stand. Do you remember the third May fight where she's, like, standing on the bridge and she has pretty powerful Pokemon? And... Oh, yeah, that fight. Yeah. I tried to do, uh, again, Sceptile with my Swampert, or my Marshtop, which was which four is... times weak. I, it took me so long, and I didn't know the existence of X items either, so I was like, how do you beat this impossible game? So, my, I, I always trash X items, because I just hate them. I, I never use them. They're I, good. They're actually really good. I know, I just don't use them in play. Um, I get, I get, some people will. Um... What was I gonna say? Uh. Oh yeah. So when I got it, my dad Die. scared the heck out of me with the internet, saying like, "Oh, everyone's out to get you. Like the government has all of your information." So, oh, he's one of those people. Okay. Uh, yep. Or was he's less on it now? Um. My parents were more of the like, "Oh, everyone on the internet is a stranger who wants to rape you." Basically. Well, that's it's, basically. It's, it's like, mom, like, I'm signing up for Club Penguin. I don't think so. <laughs> I there's some really chill people. It's just, what? it's kind of okay. sad that there's just the there's just the people out there that have to ruin it for everyone. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's always those people, and I hate those people. Don't be that person. Okay, I would. I like used Kick at one point because it was like my friend's phone like got. Uh, Hacked. It, it, it like broke or something where he couldn't u use texting for like a few months. So I kick. used Kick because I had a tablet and that was the only way to text my friends with phones. Yeah. Um. But like I used that and I'm my mother saw like Kick on my phone one time. And she's like, "Oh, you need to delete Kick immediately because like it's a there's there are all these scandals and it's like I I looked it up because I was curious about all of these scandals and there was one where some guy was like messaging a minor and it's like. If you have, like, three IQ total, then yes, maybe you'll fall for that, but... Or are seven and don't... Oh, yeah. Frick. He looks like the Tiki Guardian. Yeah, so... Who are they? I was actually joking when I earlier said the guy with the bolting is really annoying. 
because he doesn't get to use it ever. Does he just die here? No, so the the weird pink squares are anti-magic tiles, so you can't use magic when you're in them. So I Basically can, all those mages are fricked. I can walk up to this guy and stab him and he can't do anything, so it's funny. You might try to throw the book at you, like that one. <laughs> the Ephraim using magic, uh... A freaking book. <laughs> anyway... What was I saying? Oh yeah, so I didn't name my character my actual name, I just made SJC, all caps. Mm -hmm. And I regret that. And then, I didn't know there existed a keyboard that wasn't all caps. So literally all the all of my originally named Pokemon, and I was the idiot that did like a very simple naming scheme, which uh, I named like uh, Pearly and Pearly, and that's how it was, oh, like yeah, R-L-Y at the end of everything. And so you can what? still oh. occasionally, like, uh, I think I named like a Lily Pup Lily or something, and it's like all caps, and it's just in my box. And I didn't know that the, like, non cap option existed. <laughs> so, I mean, I either gave everything a, like, a letter dot letter or a all caps really bad looking name. Well, I think, like, the all caps was, like, actually the naming convention typically. And it was, it was up until five. Oh, was it Gen 5? I thought it was, like, six it was that Gen it five. stopped doing that. I hate it. I hate, because I started with five, I hate how it does in every game. Other than that, I mean... Why are there so many armor knights? And then, the... Uh, so I just named my rival TJ, because I felt like it, because also he looks cool. He just looks like a TJ, you know. I forget what his actual name is. The Johnson. That's, no. that's what TJ stands for. The Dwayne. Thick Jock. <laughs> Shut up. Every time I say something, it's just a shut up now. It kind of is, yeah. Give sometimes, sometimes, I still appreciate you, Dalton. Don't, don't, give don't a hug. touch me. Yoshi is a, a scared. Bring her. Bring her. <laughs> that's a great. That's, that is the great. Oh, that's great. Alright, quick question. We're just bouncing around two ADHD episodes of Fire Emblem in yeah, a row, but not really because these are a week apart. Um, two weeks apart, in fact. Alright, you know what? I do know what. So, did you see that, this will be real old news by the time this comes out, but did you see that someone in, like, a wrestling, they, had they like, dressed people up, and then, like, sent them out for, like, a Halloween thing, and he came out of Sans? Ha! <laughs> what? He came out dressed as Sans. Oh my god. And then I one of the guys the was All Might. I'll, I'll pull it up. <laughs> one of the guys was All Might, uh, which makes a lot more sense because I feel like I'd see All Might in the ring more than I'd see Sans in the ring. There it is. I just typed in Sans W and then there it was. Ha! That's actually a good costume too. Uh, I didn't see what San, or, uh, San got for a level up. I'm assuming it was bad. I'm going to turn the volume off and just kick the playback speed way up. I'll look at it later. Just send it in the Discord. You don't have to interrupt the episode. What is this it? Is this the last thing we have to record tonight? Yeah. Nice. We are done at like four in the morning. Well, we got an extra hour, so we would have been done at five in the morning. All right, here we go, ready? So here you go, ready? Okay. What? <laughs> That's great. Oh yeah, Twitter did its freaking rounds <laughs> after that. Like, people were like, on their heads. Also... <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Wow, Raven has, like, dodged freaking everything. Raven's just a bouse. The bouse! Also, you want to know my favorite type of crit to get in these games? The damaging ones, probably. A 33 damage crit. 
Well, a 33 base damage, but with a crit. Oh, why? Because that'll get you 69. Ah, yes, I'm good at math, too. How old is that? 69? What? How does 33 base damage land you 69 crit damage? It's multiplied by 3. 33 times 3 would be 99. Wait, no, it's 23. Frick! Ah, good old mathematics. <laughs> my worst enemy. Why, Yoshi Sower? They don't pay you to speak. They don't pay me at all. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Krabs, you don't pay me at all. Oh, boy, SpongeBob, me, Bob. I haven't looked. Uh, can't even joke. Saying, you know, you don't have to get hit by attacks, right? Like, you can dodge. In fact, you have a 60% like, chance to do it. so. Hey, remember that general that joined our group a while ago? Oswin? Yeah, me neither. Oh, uh, no. Uh, uh, Wallace, you get later, I'm pretty sure. No, it was Oswin. The guy was like, upon me. And then, like, you know, no, that was him. Wallace. Okay. Also, I hate how it makes you use the thing on him. I think I said that when he. You don't have to in hard mode, actually. Like, screw it, you're here, you get to do what you want. Yeah, like, you, you probably already know what you're doing. You, okay, so you don't have to use it on him, but you also can't keep it. So what I've seen people do is, when they're doing, like, Hector hard mode runs, they'll only use either Sane or Kent up until the point that they, like, are right before the last boss of Len mode and then promote them. So then they're already promoted when you get them, and it makes Hector hard mode a lot easier. Hmm. Is his map the one where it's foggy? Who? Oh, the Wallace is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh God. That's the map that I'm stuck on because I just don't want to have to do the fog map for an eighth time. Yes, I've counted. Yes, it's been seven times. No, I'm not proud of that. Yes, I watch anime. Why do you ask? <laughs> yes, I want to die. So speaking of anime, Crunchyroll, you know what that is, right? Spoon yeah, why choice. would I use Crunchyroll if I can use nine anime? Exactly. Anyway, Crunchyroll's Twitter literally just tweeted out, and it just said anime, all lowercase. <laughs> and so I'm Same. like... Same. Also, when people say, why I only watch anime, well, A, because nothing, there aren't... Japan! Uh, well, A, it's better than watching, like, a lot of American cartoons right about mm, now. There are some decent ones out, but a lot of it's... Gravity kinda... Falls, maybe Steven Universe. I heard that it maybe went a little bit off track at the end. Gravity Falls, I know, was good. Um, Disney, Disney's live-action ones all suck, unless you're, like, a little kid. Not an animation, and if it's live-action... TV shows, you know what I meant. Well, what what other like TV shows that they have that aren't live action? The animated ones. Wow! Thank you for that specific information. Like. Shut up. Anyway, so there aren't that many good ones, and it's a lot harder to get those. Uh, like, it's a lot harder to watch those than it is to watch literally any anime ever. Uh, maybe. Because. Japan's like, screw it, we don't care about your copyright laws, so America's just like, screw it, we don't care about your copyright laws. Because in Japan, fair use comes to... It goes into public domain 50 years after the author of it has died. Interesting. Think. Yeah. Well, it's, it's interesting that it would be, like, after the person dies versus after, like, release date or something. Who needs this? Yeah, Zelda... Uh, Legend of Zelda almost, like... The... Title's uh, screen was supposed to be a song that was written, like a classical piece that was written by someone, but they had only, they had died 49, and it was going out of 49 uh, years and 11 months when they were going to oh. do the game, and so they literally, that's how they got the overture, is because they literally just didn't want to um, use that and like risk it. Because they could get sued for it, so they just like, hey, let's slow down the main, th uh, the main overworld thing. Hmm. Like Skoji Kondo. 
I mean, a lot of, if you look at a lot of the, like, compression and stuff, I always thought it was, like, mind-blowing that the, the power-up uh, mushroom sound in Super Mario Brothers is the flagpole theme sped up really fast. Wait, what? Yeah, the, when you get, like, a super mushroom, the thru -thru 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 -thru, that sound, it's it's this really sped up version of do 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 No, it's not. It is. I'm not joking. Look it up. Yeah. I'm gonna look that up. I was like, what in the world? I mean, you can now. I mean, we did we these episodes are long, so we just talk about every topic under the sun. Say, I might we might do a King Crimson time skip here and go to the end of the episode, or at least when I'm fighting the other guy here, because this has been going on for at least like five minutes. Slow down eight hundred percent. Oh, and I got a frozen two. Just download YouTube Advanced. No, why not? It gives like a ton. Oh. What? So... I don't know. I assume sounds a little way over 500 percent. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. The longer version of the one up fanfare. I'll watch that later. Alright, we're gonna be so anyway. Famous. That guy can't attack you at all, right? He, yeah, he's literally just sitting in there. <laughs> he can't do anything. Also, the red hooded figure just looks like Bantu. Oh, we're gonna try to kill him. So, here's the deal with the red hooded figure, right? Oh my god. Ooh. Yeet. So, the red hooded figure, you can technically kill, but it uh, it's really difficult to do so. Um, because the turn you attack him is the turn he disappears, so... Uh, you have to kill him in one turn, and he has approximately... They just said screw you on the stats, basically. They're like, hey, let's give him all the speed and good defense, because no one's going to be able to touch him with magic or anything else anyway, so... He has no attacks. He, literally he, he can't attack you. He, he's a pointless character. He just exists as a plot convenience. Oh, what happens well. if you kill him? You unlock another chapter, which is... Gives you really good items. Do it. Yeah, I'm going to. You have to rig save states. There's, I, I've literally not seen any other way. Also, these guys are ridiculous compared to what you've been facing. Like, silver lances. They don't move, though. They don't, but even still. Like, even Hector can't run around this guy. Unless he uses the wolf bail, but that's kind of cheating. <laughs> I've seen you do it before. Frick. Um, we'll just have Guy just keep hitting this guy with a sword <laughs> until he dies. Alright, Lynn, it's your time to shine, potentially. If you kill this guy, does he, uh, does the round end? No, 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 no. So I have to seize the gate, so Ellie would have to go on oh, there. Oh, you and... have to seize it. Alright. <coughs> seize it! Seize it! Seize it! This guy doesn't have a long bow. Oh right? my god. Alright, okay. so the best kind of memes are the one that make you think like five seconds before like you get it. So no, there was one where someone put stupid. uh <laughs> someone took a giant rock and threw it on top of ranch dressing. It took me a second to get. Then I realized that the ranch dressing was Caesar dressing. <laughs> and then everything made sense. The, the freaking, like, um, what do Caesar and Soda have in common? They, they both, both go, go flat, flat after they run out of holes. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> that freaking joke.
That one made me bust a gut the first time I saw it. Really was a, a knee slapper. Really made me har har har. Oh, that wasn't good. There we go. Wow. That really slaps me on the knee. That really slaps me on the knee. Okay, so we're just gonna... First you have to kill the uh, the other guys because they will just kind of exist. They just stand there in t pose huh? I really hope they don't move. <laughs> oh, frick. You're kind of in the no-go. I put him in the anti-magic zone. I keep forgetting that's even a thing. Like, okay. Well, time to die. Alright, so Hector is the designated weakener. Let's see, yeah, Kent's at level 13. So if you don't kill this guy, what happens? Does he appear later in the game, or does he just... Uh, I think he disappears and you never see him again, essentially, so... Yeah, this Why is worth killing Why is the real this. question here? Um, I mean, he's an optional story thing. All of his chapters are side chapters, so... Holy crap, he got a full level from that. <laughs> Thank you, guy. Very cool. If you look on my Twitter, that is, like, the one most used response ever. It's just, thank you, very cool. I mean, it's, it's like, the meme. Alright, Hector. Soften this fool Punk. up. Watch him get a crit. <laughs> oh. Nah. Out. Actually, Hector could probably use some kills of his own. I'll let him kill Kashuna. Um, what's the funniest meme, though, is doing this. Once was an adventure like you, Tilly. Totally I took a rapier through my armor. Tilly took a rapier through. That's a good level. Thank you, Hollywood. Very neat. Alright. When. Keep at it. Yes. He tried to stick my hand up and the sword phases through me. <laughs> okay, how to take care of this guy. So, you basically are going to be passing the killing edge. Because no one can double him. Like, this is how much damage all my, all my people are doing. You have to sit here and rig critical hits for, like, everyone. Basically, you just need to save state abuse until you get a crit. With I everyone. don't know how you're supposed to kill this guy without save state abusing. I really do not. Uh, you are blessed by God himself. I was gonna say, is, it, is this just like... Really, uh... Ooh, can can sent... Sane. Don't care. <laughs> Sane! Support level increased. <laughs> <laughs> Basically... <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's all they, they do anyway, so they just yell at each other and then, like, oh yeah. I saw something one time that was like, um, as soon as I get like a stack of applications for my company, I immediately throw half of them in the garbage. I don't want any unlucky people working for my company. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a crit? No. You'll, the, you'll, you'll know when it's a crit. It is a special sparkle sound. It always does the special sparkle. That's the part of his animation. Alright, Lynn, you might be able to hit him this top frick. E okay, luckily I saved, so we're just gonna, um... Move sane. Can't you javelin that guy? I can, but it won't kill him, so there's really no point. Alright, you can at least be a rescue bot. Yeah, Canis will just kind of sit there confused. You forced what if this offer... battle didn't happen? All right. You forced to offer um, protection. Defense and avoid. Yeah. You're just gonna send Canis up to fight Merlinus, right? Pretty much, yeah. We'll fight for Merlinus, rather. Me no speak well. Lucius has ridiculous defense. That's the critical. I, I tried to set those as my TF2 hit sounds one time, and I got really close. But it oh, really? Work. Yeah. Why didn't it work? Just because I couldn't find a good rip of it. I I mean, if it was my, uh, if I made that my TF2 noise, I'd make it the uh, confirmed death. Yeah, well, the, yeah, the confirmed death, and then you can do the, actually, when I first tried to set it, they didn't have the confirmed death setting, so. Excuse me. 
Jeez. All right. Uh, yeah, this is a save state worthy thing. Cause I, need I feel it. like if you ever do make that, give it to me because I want that. Also, when I started using um my ding hit sounds, where I can tell how much damage I do based on the sound that it makes. Wait, what? Does it just increase? It, yeah, so the, the higher pitch it. that it is, I'm not attacking him this turn. I need every single unit in my army who exists to attack. And Lynn doesn't even have enough attack, so I'm not going to worry about it. But... Or just keep chipping away at this guy and getting free experience points. Oh god, it hurts. Heal me. Oh god, it hurts. Heal me. <laughs> yes, a strength! Lynn, you are blessed on this day. <laughs> blessed is low, Lady of Sake, on this day. Okay, how do I position these guys so that everyone can attack? Quite frankly, I'm not sure my army's even strong enough, so... With safe state abusing, it is. Okay. Here we go. So, first of all, Hector's going to be doing the blunt of the damage here. We're gonna have to rig this to be a crit. Why did you send him out that way? Oh, I didn't mean to. The camera. So how how RNG manipulation works? So here's a fun little tidbit. Uh, if every time I move the arrow and snap it into a place, it randomizes the direction that it's taking. So, like, it can either go one up up or up sideways up, and um, it's determined by or up up sideways. And the path that it takes is determined by the random number generator. Um, now, the way that the random number generator works is that it basically has a huge list of numbers that it pulls from. And um, if it, it, whatever like the top number is, is the number that determines whether or not something hits or crits or whatever. And then it removes them and goes on. So by shifting through this or by like messing with the arrow a bunch you can basically cycle through numbers in the random number generator but can't you cycle through numbers that would give you crits i can't tell what the numbers are i can only tell whether or not i they they produce crits or not if hector doesn't crit this isn't happening so we're just gonna fast forward Yes, there we go. Okay, right, there we go. There we go. It. That didn't take very long. Surprisingly, no. Okay, so he's at 14 HP, so now I can save this again. Um, Raven is going to have to... I th Actually, this should be easy, because Hector did way a lot of damage. Uh, we just need a killing edge crit, and there you go. And like I said, if you don't- oh frick, okay, this guy can attack now, uh, we'll just, uh, end his move. <laughs> really, though? Just oh! Kidding. Wait a minute, that's interesting! So I was wondering why I had a better hit rate. Apparently the bolting that he was holding, since he- what the frick, two strength growths in a row, Lin, you are savable. Um, but- because he was holding the bolting when the magic uh, deleting wear, wore off, it weighed him down, so... Blow him down. Blow him down for what? Ba -da 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 -da. I'm very curious to see what the recording time is going to be on this, because this seems like we've been here like forever, yeah. Alright. Cleared out everyone, so I'll do our wrap-ups now. Thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry that this was an extra long episode. And um, tune in next time where we fight uh, something. Yep, more bad guys. Dragon's Gate. Uh, I don't remember what this one is. Do we fight a dragon? Let me actually check what this map is, because I'm curious. Oh, it's this one! Okay. This is a fun one, actually. Thanks for watching!